This is Constitutional Conversations with Everett. Uh, in this series, I will be discussing facts, Bible verses, and the Constitution, mainly. I'm not, I'm going to try to not insert my own political opinions about anything, although I must warn you, I am a conservative, and so my way of explaining things may be biased a little bit conservatively, but I will try my best to stick to the Constitution as written, the facts, and the ultimate authority, the Bible. Please remember, if you like this video, just hit the like button and subscribe to be updated on everything that I'm talking about. Today, we're going to be talking about guns. Now, to start off, I have a quote from George Washington. To be prepared for war is one of the most effectual ways of preserving peace. To be prepared for war is one of the most effectual ways of preserving peace. So in George Washington's mind, peace could be achieved by being prepared for war. When, peop when citizens are armed, we are prepared for war, which means that we can preserve peace. The Japanese actually attacked Hawaii instead of California because they were afraid, in World War II, the Japanese, they were afraid that they would have to fight house to house in America because every citizen, they thought, owned guns. I have a couple more quotes from George Washington. A free people ought not only to be armed, but disciplined. A free people ought not only to be armed, but disciplined. So, in this quote, he's talking about how people should be disciplined. But he references they ought not only to be armed. So, what this basically means, even though it's not the point, what he's saying is free people should undoubtedly be armed. He expects free people, George Washington expects the free people of the U.S. to be armed, no question. Because he talks about that when talking about an entirely different subject. Just, well, they shouldn't only be armed, but they should also, you know, shouldn't only. So he definitely thinks that all Americans should be armed. As you know, all Americans are not armed. Many of them are, but not all of them. Um, another quote, when we assumed the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. So, since he was a general, he says we, so talking about him and the militia of the army. When we assumed the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. So he's saying that soldiers are citizens. Citizens are soldiers. So, when people say... Only the army should have guns. Only the military should have guns. Only the police should have guns. Well, according to George Washington, the most famous, most best, pre first president ever, you know, um, what they're saying is only citizens should have guns. Because soldiers and police are citizens. So... By him saying that citizens and soldiers are the same thing, that completely destroys the argument that only certain people should have guns. Only certain, only soldiers should have guns. Well, soldiers are citizens, so they're just like any of us, so all of us should be able to have guns. Um, not exclusively military. And also, I thought that, um, the police were really racist, and yet they're the ones that are supposed to have weapons, right? I mean, you, you, and some of the police are racist, don't get me wrong, but that is what a big argument for the left, is that all of the police are racist. So if all the police are racist, why are they the ones with guns? Wouldn't they just kill more people? If, if they're that racist, they just go around killing people they're prejudiced against, wouldn't giving them all the guns and taking away everyone else's make it worse? I, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me, but, um, whatever. So, the normal citizens should have guns. So, the same thing is 
when people say that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So people a lot of times say, when it talks about a re well-regulated militia, only the militia should be having guns, that's what the Second Amendment is talking about. Well, the militia is soldiers, and soldiers are citizens. Remember, George Washington was the president of the Constitutional Convention. So, the militia is soldiers. He says soldiers are citizens. So again, the militia, the people, should have guns. Also, back then, the militia, when it was first started, was the Minutemen, were random people who grabbed their rifles and ran out to fight the British for freedom, for their country. They, the militia was not, until I don't know what time exactly, but it was not a well-organized, trained group of military professionals. They were just random people who grabbed their guns and said, let's fight for freedom. So the militia back then um, was not what we think of it as today. And since the Constitution is not a living document, then you cannot compare the militia back then to the military of today. This is our last quote from George Washington. If we cannot learn wisdom from experience, it is hard to say where it is to be found. If we cannot learn wisdom from experience, it is hard to say where it can be found. So wisdom comes from experience. What does experience say about guns? Experience says, back in the late 1700s, early 1800s, when everyone had guns, and there were no restrictions, there were little to no shootings, and everyone was, for the most part, safe. You know, there weren't crazy people, there weren't mass killings and murders. The But, guns were completely normal. Little kids had guns. Of course, older adults had guns. People would hunt with them. People would, you know, do sports with them. People would use them against the British. You know, they, they were everywhere, and they were normal. And you could have whatever gun you wanted. Um, whether it was a, you know, what whatever type of gun you wanted, whether it was more or less dangerous, um, everyone had them, and everyone was safe. And now, um, there are a lot more people, and I'm not sure what the, um, how many guns per capita it was back then, but right now, we are much less safe, and there are much more restrictions on guns. So that should say something. This has been Constitutional Conversations with Everett. Please like or subscribe.